In this video, we're going to be reviewing a software called Switchy. If you're asking what Switchy is and how it all works, you're going to get the inside scoop. I went ahead, purchased Switchy, tried it out, got to know the features, and now I'm going to give you a demo, a review, and basically a tutorial on everything you want to know about Switchy. Switchy claims that they are the smartest link engagement platform on the market. They offer the ability to shorten, customize, and track your your links with a b split testing capabilities and you can even add your own retargeting pixels ranging from features such as custom domain names pixel integrations link customizations reporting in real time and smart ads and then adding into these wide range of features it's got an incredibly simplistic interface that anyone no matter their tech level should be able to start using on the date of me posting this video AppSumo currently has have a lifetime deal for Switchy which starts from $39. There's three tiers you can purchase which is single, double, multiple ranging from $39 to $117. I'll let you have a look at which plan suits you. I went with the double plan because 60,000 clicks per month and 16 custom domain names is more than what I actually need. So if you want to support this channel I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get access to the lifetime deal or if this has expired it will take you to the latest discount that they're currently offering so it's still worth clicking the link when you first log into your dashboard this is what you're going to see and you can see there's actually not that much to look at which is always nice for a quick and easy learning curve on your left you have your navigation which contains links smart pages which we're going to look at shortly integrations the help center your account and your overall settings. Then right next to it, you have a second sidebar, which contains all the folders to categorize your links. To the right, this is your quick link area. This is where you enter a URL, click switch it, and it will quickly create a link for you. And then top right, you can create different workspaces, which again, we're gonna get into shortly. So if you have different departments using this platform, you can segment it so they only work in their department. Then they've got a search feature, followed by X options and if you were previously using a secondary URL shortener that you want to move everything over to Switchy, they have a bulk import option where you can either use the CSV import sheet where they even give you a template and quick access to the help area by this link here. This area right here, this will be a snapshot area of all the statistics going on with your links. You might be wondering where to start with Switchy and I would recommend starting with a workspace. So head over to your workspace area and you see I've already named this area social media click this new workspace and I'm gonna call it social media to and click confirm now it should automatically switch then I would head over to new folder and I'm going to do Facebook links as you can see we have Facebook links Twitter links and TikTok links and just to show you if we go back to social media workspace those folders have gone let's go back to social media too and now that we've created the folders this will start categorizing our links so let's go ahead and create a new link by clicking create new link and let's say I want to create a link for my marketing Facebook group help and advice so you paste it in like so and you can select this option here and you can see you can customize it according to the sort of platform you want it to shorten. Now, you, what you can also do is actually customize the image it shows, so by clicking here, and you can either take it from URL, screenshot, Giphy, Pexels, Pixabay, Unsplash, or Tenya. Let's go ahead and do Joey, because you know he's Joey, and you can even customize the title. Once you customize the meta information, then you can start adding pixels to it. They have an a help feature right next to it so if you click that you will see it's got it's got documentation listing how you do each one so if we want to do Facebook click on Facebook and as you can see it's step by step instructions on how to get it now sadly I've actually been banned from Facebook advertising uh, way too experimental for me way too strict for me so uh, I'm not gonna be able to show you the pixels for Facebook uh, but you would just go ahead and paste it in there and um, you can actually do add new Facebook pixel and we'll just call it account now that will actually save as a template which means that you can use that whenever and you just do select and now that's been added 
Same with the add UTM tags, which is referring to Google Ads. So again, you will select here. Have a quick look at the instructions, just follow the steps. And then you can even add it as a new template. And now you can see that's going to be populated with any of your new, your new campaigns. Then finally, once you've connected your domain name, which we'll get into a little later, it will show a drop down, And of course they have a subdomain and you can even use this domain here. Or if you still need help, again, you go to the help article and it will show you how to do subdomains on Cloudflare, Google Domains, GoDaddy, Namecheap, and it's just step-by-step -step instructions for each of those platforms. Next, if you wanna feel a bit more adventurous, head over to the advanced options by selecting it here. Because we created this link in the Facebook links, it's gonna end up in that folder. Uh, however, you can change it right here. Add some notes, and you can even embed the widget straight into your website. Now it's also got a deep linking option and for those of you who don't really know what deep linking is, when this is toggled it will automatically detect what sort of device a user is on. So if they're on the mobile, tablet, uh, specific sort of device that you can think of and you've got optimized pages for those specific devices, it will send them to that device so it's the optimum uh, browsing experience for them. Now, next you've got link cloaking. It's not really something that I tend to do, but link cloaking is most effective for affiliate marketers who kind of wanna open information up in an iframe so they can get commissions and basically get that cookie without getting your visitor to leave sort of thing. Um, it is kind of against the policy with a lot of platforms, depending on how you're using it, if you're using it for misleading intentions. So be careful with that option, but they've got a link cloaking feature that you can utilize. Next, tags. So if you want help filtering stuff, so we're just gonna call it. And now we're on to the AB testing, which is a fantastic feature. It basically rotates links to see which ones, your pages or links or whatever you're testing, is working best which one's getting more clicks etc so as you can see you just you can add as many as you, uh, as you want in and it, it will start start splitting the traffic accordingly and it'll do that on its own now if you're running a campaign or something those lines and you've got a set date that the campaign ends you can actually do the link expiration by toggling this button and you can say end tomorrow at this time and just guess okay and then you can customize it by location by geo if you are in a country where GDPR is prominent, this will automatically pop up a GDPR policy as you can see here. Finally, when you're ready, click the get my new link. And now when you go back to your dashboard, you can see a list of all your links with further options that you can start customizing. So for example, if we click show stats, you can see in real time, it's actually tracked everything we need to know. So we've had one click, from one user, it's been one referrer, from one device and one country. And if we scroll down, it then shows us in chartable information. And you can see that I'm currently using Chrome. My operating system is Windows and it's from a PC. And then it's got all of those tags as we saw before. And it's just broken down in a really nice way. You can also share this on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp directly, view what the link looks like, download a QR code, so other people can just scan it and go straight to it, which is a really nice touch. And you can also duplicate it if you desire. Now, if you wanted to quickly create a link, they can create new link here. You will simply just paste the link in here and then do switch it. And then it will take you to that area we're just in and you'll start customizing it. Let's head over to Smart Page. This is a fairly new feature by them, which is really cool, especially with the rise of TikTok and uh, Instagram marketing and the general format influencers are using. So the way this works is very similar to creating a link. You would click create new smart page and it will give you all of these predefined templates that you can use as landers. But let's just go ahead and use. And right here, you can start customizing everything. So you click on one of the buttons, opens up the editor, add in some URLs and you can add a custom appearance to each button. You can change the animation if you want. And it's also got a schedule option where you can actually have it removed, etc. And it's really smooth editor by dragging and dropping it all like so. And if you wanna change the text, again, just select. You can just click on any area and start pulling in your information. And you can even integrate the form. You can add new fields rename your form and if something's wrong with this form you can actually go to the error tab right here click it and it will tell you that what's actually not working so if you actually select it it'll automatically highlight it and add it here 
It'll then start taking you through each of these tabs. And again, just like the links, you can actually customize the photos and it's got a built-in editor as well. Done. And again, do you remember before when we created our pixels where well, we can have multiple pixels, but we'll just use this, select that, select from template. And again, you can have a custom domain. If you've attached your domain, that will show. So when you're ready, go ahead and click create. And now that's been created, copy this. And now we have a landing page ready for people to enjoy. And just like with the other links, it shows all of our links here. So if we go to show stats, it will even track the conversions for you. And if we scroll down, you see it's all got very similar information as previously. Moving on to the next little tab here, which is leads. If I come here and enter hello at test.com, click submit, head back over here, and then refresh, reload. You can see we've now got that email and when they subscribed. Let's go ahead and go to block analytics, like a heat map in a way where it will actually track everything that's gone on on each block on your page. So for example, it will show you how many times someone's clicked this find our closest shop button and it will display it here. That's a really handy feature to see. That's a really handy feature to see what parts of your what part of your page is performing and what isn't. Let's move on to integrations. There's tons of integrations they currently offer and you can also request uh, them to add an integration if they don't have it. But if you scroll down, you, you can also use the filter on the left. So if you're own an e-com business, you can see all the e-com sites that they integrate with. Or if you're a YouTuber, for example, go to video, click on YouTube, and then you can customize what sort of format you actually want and create a deep link. And then it will bring it over here and you can customize all the options as you desire. Next, we have the help center. We've already briefly looked at this, but this is just where you can find all the information about how you can actually use this. So for example, set a custom domain. Each of these articles will show you in depth how to do that. This is where you would actually add your domain name here and where you can add all of the pixels that you wish, followed by UTM tracking, followed by widgets. So let's have a look at the widgets where you can paste in custom JavaScript and custom HTML. This is where you can, the privacy pop-up is where you can customize your GDPR settings. I have a custom mail server, which doesn't integrate with anything unless they've got, a, they have API key features, which Switchy does, which means that I can literally generate an API and connect it with my system so I can start syncing my leads uh, into my mail server. My overall opinion of Switchy is that it's got a ton of features that are hugely beneficial and everything can be done in just a few clicks. In fact, the most technical part of Switchy actually happens off Switchy and that's just getting all of your pixel information and your Google ads tracking information, etc. So Switchy really isn't difficult to use and it just works and it works really well, which you can't really ask for more from a tool. Thank you so much for watching the Switch review. If you've got any questions, drop them below and I'll see you in the next video.